What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another two episodes of Dark being recorded on the same night but on a different day for y'all. Appreciate y'all man. Y'all been killing it uh, for the first season for the first season y'all unbelievable support on the channel um, for the dark reactions man I really do appreciate y'all for watching those episodes I know that you know you guys have been having issues with the with the Google Drive and watching the episodes and stuff like that you know but you just gotta be patient if you can download the episodes and watch them okay download the reactions and watch them um, if you can you know that's the best way to go you know to just download them instead of playing them through your google drive you know or your link just go into the link and play in the video it's better if you just go there and download the video if you're on pc i'm not sure if you can download them on your cell phone um but it is what it is that's what we're working with right now and the other option that i'm working on it's probably not going to be anytime soon so we just got to work with what we got for now I appreciate y'all for keeping supporting the videos and not necessarily complaining about you know playback limits and all of that I really do appreciate that but in any case man I want to talk too much here just want to jump into episodes and then I'll have my review after of what is going on because this is the two final episodes of the season so I expect to be surprised shocked because this show has been having some reveal moments brother some real reveal moments some drop your bottom lip mouth 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 dropping open moments <laughs> right so i'm looking forward to more of that but in any case man it was just revealed in the last episode at the end of the last episode episode six that magnus is a traveler how did this happen why is this happening right now there were so many different reveals you know that had me like what how <laughs> you know so we're definitely gonna see more of that um you know this show it just has a knack for keeping you in tune you know what i mean keeping you in tune but in any case let's jump into these episodes and i will see you guys for the review Alright, so that was the finale to the season, episode 7 and 8 of Dark Man. I really did appreciate what they did there at the end of the episode. You know, and this is one of those stories that I've talked about before, man, where it's just like, it's an incredible story. I think I've said that probably a hundred times by now how good this story is and i like how they captivated certain things there at the end by showing there were some surprises it's like there's certain things that is supposed to happen that just it's like if it's fated to happen it's gotta happen and we see that with when noah tried to kill adam it didn't work out because it's not supposed to happen so it seems like everything how do you stop him he came out killed Martha and then Martha came back at the end whatever time she came from with some new time machine thing <laughs> bro this is getting wild okay she's like don't ask when are you from she's like what um now when but what time period was it time period i don't even remember what she said at the end <laughs> but it's crazy what i think she said what world am i from or something of the sort so now she's like it's like this endless loop of possibilities that is going on because it's like okay you think this is how it's supposed to play out but there's so much other variables to this entire thing that you can't really put this into a single box to say hey this is how it's going to go because really and truly that's not how it's gonna go <laughs> you know what i mean so i really do appreciate them for kind of like 
the okie dokes are just crazy and that's what i'm saying like it doesn't even make no sense for me to sit here and do like uh um a comprehensive review because none of my theories are correct all i have is questions as theories you know what i'm saying all i have is questions so it really don't make any sense for me to sit here and be like oh i know what's going to happen or I, this is what i think because i might be thinking this and then turns out oh no this is not what's gonna happen i think the craziest reveal is not only martha but the craziest reveal is that charlotte's freaking mom is her daughter <laughs> like Bro, I was thinking that, but I was actually thinking that for somebody else. I was thinking that maybe, um, what's her name? The other daughter. I thought it, I thought it was the older daughter was gonna end up being her mom because they look so much alike. But it turns out it's the younger, deaf one, right? That was nuts that was crazy you know what i mean but it is what it is you know i really 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 digging it excuse me for just a moment yes i'm back but you didn't realize i left <laughs> but i did anyways so it's just an incredible story man and i think most of all i just want to talk about season two in general the things that were revealed um to us the craziness that is this show which is dark season two was absolutely incredible definitely a step up from season one for sure you know and i really do appreciate what they did for what they had you know what i'm saying um discovering Ul ulrich breaking out of jail well breaking out of the crazy house to go see his son you know what i'm saying and mikhail recognizing him that was a great moment they were trying to get back home but there's so many factors you don't know what's supposed to happen and what is interrupting the flow and that's the, the whole premise of the show right is what keeps you so off balance because you don't know what actually is supposed to happen and what is not supposed to happen you get what i'm saying because in your mind you're thinking okay if he does this this might mess things up but maybe that's what is supposed to happen maybe they are supposed to mess up maybe they you know what i'm saying maybe all these things were supposed to happen so you don't really know if somebody is really going off script of what is to be you know what i mean so i really dig that aspect of the show and that's why it keeps you so off balance and knowing what could possibly happen next you know what i mean so we finally find out what is in those barrels you know what i'm saying the substance that it is that dark matter substance that's creating this wormhole or this time travel element right that is in the the barrel and the fact of the matter is the um the reason why he buried it or alexander buried it was because it caused the apocalypse and because this dude did not listen they opened the barrel and it caused the apocalypse so martha came and got yona so that it out of there so he didn't die so what is next you get what i'm saying so on to season three we go and i'm looking forward to it so i don't have a long review i usually have very long reviews after seasons but for so as i said there's not much the only thing i can do now is talk about the greatness of what season two was i can't really talk about anything that's really in the show because the theories are out the window what's going to happen in season three i don't have no theories about it <laughs> i have zero theories about season three at this current moment so uh for season two definitely you know i use three things to 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 give my rating for seasons or t or complete series i use three um points of interest you know what i'm saying um and that is cinematography or you know video design or animation if it's anime and sound design okay and i also use rewatchability okay rewatchability um 
So I'm gonna judge it on those three things, and then I will um, give you guys a rating. I definitely think that they did a very good job of improving the aesthetics of the show. There was a lot more um, different locations that they used, introduced us to new places and stuff like that. In season two, I definitely see where they up certain things when it comes on to the video, the, the video, the cinematography, the videography, whatever you want to call it, right? The the angle shots, the camera angles that they use to show certain things, the the depth of feel, all of those things were used to basic, basically perfection in my opinion. Like it never took me out. Like nothing happened that took me out of the immersion of the show. And that's one of the things that I look at is like, how long can you keep me immersed? during an hour of watching a tv show like how long you get what i'm saying like i might fall asleep you know what i'm saying but this show keeps you engaged and that's one of the things they excel at in this show for sure sound design incredible i like the fact that like when when there's about 10 minutes or so left in the episode there's always this rundown and this song playing this kind of scenes chopping up scenes kind of show you what's going on showing certain comparisons of characters old you know when they were older when they were newer there's always this little montage of characters that happens during that time um of what these different characters they're doing whether it's in different times or in the same time period um i think they're doing an incredible job of that of picking the right sound the opening for this series is absolutely amazing i like it very much it's very catchy i like it very much the sound design is definitely on point the score in the show is absolutely amazing the eerie sounds the ominous sounds you know i mean it's just incredible it's just incredible i can't say enough about it um so the last thing rewatchability i think this is a show that i would rewatch for sure um after i after i'm caught up or maybe when the show is finished just to catch some things that i didn't catch because i'm pretty sure there were hints towards certain things leading up to certain big reveals that i missed that i didn't see because i wasn't seeing everything i was concentrating on something else they are usually in series like this they are going to be um easter eggs if you want to call it that about things that are revealed later in the series because usually when you're doing something like this people usually tend to want to do things like we've left hints all over the show you just had to pick up on them to really see so if you go back and re-watch those particular episodes you will see that they were telling you this all along you know what i'm saying so the rewatchability for the show is definitely there and i'm looking forward to watching this through a second time over or even watching it with a friend or somebody okay so i appreciate you guys so much for tuning in for this season man season three is next of course and so i'm looking forward to that i appreciate y'all as always don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and i will catch you guys later man peace see you guys for season three